Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are with the Tarot Lessons 101. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and spell work is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Here we are getting on the train of our journey, learning the tarot cards. So we are finally here getting close to the conclusion of the major arcana. And in this, we are now here face to face with judgment card. This is number card 20 symbolizing the I am seeing the spirit of the primal fire element trump of fire and spirit, the angel blowing the last trumpet, the dead arising from the tombs, the angel blowing a trumpet adorned with a golden banner, bearing a white cross below a fair youth arises from a sarcophagus in the attitude of the God tree of life path 31. An act of love and worship be every act, the fiant of God be every act, a source of radiant glory. Traditional name of this card is judgment or the last judgment. It shows the archangel Raphael blowing his trumpet to announce the end of the world, metaphorically, undertaking the idea of those that refuse change. It only looks like the end of the world to those of us who cannot accept the possibility that all spiritual points of view can never be replaced by new ones, which speaks to our decisions, our growth, our expansion, our spiritual evolution going into the next cycle of life. When the sun shines in through all the cracks and crevices, it also brings to light a lot of new things we've showed away, we've shoved away, sorry, when no one was looking. You look behind you and you see the lies, the embarrassment, and the really hard lessons learned. You were weak. You've been mean and cowardly. You have deliberately hurt other people and have really treated yourself like crap. Um, all of this, you know, will come up. It's hard to look at it. Uh, it's even harder to take it, to take it in at some point um, with what you've experienced just to accept that all these little or huge screw-ups have made you the amazing shiny person you are today. That's the judgment card. For the most part, it's about release. The basic card has to do with judgment day. When all the, when all the sins are wiped clean and we're taken boldly into heaven or something like this, all I know about the rapture is that it seems to be a bumper sticker that comes. Um, but in any way, the judgment card is not so much about wiping the slate clean as it is. So as accepting that your life is full of holes and mistakes and graffiti and scuffs and all of those marks and flaws are what makes you beautiful. That bears repeating all of your flaws, makes you beautiful. This card often comes up. When we reach a crossroad, we can continue the way we have been, or we can challenge ourselves and find our authentic path. Our true calling is out there. And although it's easier to remain complacent and accept what has made us uncomfortable, it doesn't do a damn good thing about it. It doesn't help us grow and it doesn't help us become more complete people all of the scars, all of the spills and pieces of broken self that are lying around, those are the strongest parts of us because they're still here. If we accept those flaws and bring them into ourselves, maybe we can feel lighter and move onward and upward. In retrospect, it can speak about the harsh reality of how we judge ourselves or how we judge others. It can also be a representation of how we are being viewed and judged on a public scale. It is the uh, put up or shut up type of energy, a test of our abilities and evolution, or could also represent the final battles of your obstacles in a reading of finances. As an example, it can indicate an evolution of your capabilities. Now is the time to step up your game 
and do what must be done to show what you're really capable of. The beauty in this card is that it does represent the opportunity of success in the finance endeavors. This card represents going into an energy of testing your abilities and your ability to succeed as a challenge could represent a heed the call. It is about not being fearful or scared of conflict. It's about standing up for what you believe is right. And matters of love, it can, uh, matters of love and romance, it can represent being able to rise to the occasion. If you're being challenged, having difficulty, or not being able to be on the same page, it's about understanding or being wise in the understanding that you may be uh, pent up against each other or other people influencing that relationship. Depending on this card around the judgment uh, for singles, uh, it could represent being able to find love, but having to step out of your game or comfort zone, having to go to some type of length, as an example, getting out of your comfort zone, um, but the reward will be great and worth it. In overall, it speaks about being able to succeed, not allowing the current obstacles or challenges to distract you from the end goal or aim. Make sure that you do not uh, falter or succumb to any doubts or to any lies and pay close attention to what's going on around you. Well, my lovelies, I hope that this um, helps you better understand uh, the judgment card. It is a very marvelous and beautiful card because it symbolizes not just the conclusion of something, but it represents being able to be more in tune with your energies and the energies of those around you. It is about opening your eyes and revelations. So again, I hope that this gives you guys a better understanding. If you guys enjoy these videos, like share uh, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, till then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.